Hello there! It's not morning! It's been a very lazy morning for me. I'm back in Banff! Today I'm heading into the Cave and Basin area. Um, there's a historic site back there which I'm going to visit on the way back. So yeah, we're going to Sundance Canyon and it's going to be fun! Yeah, hope everyone's having a great day. Let's enjoy today's adventure! It's a super pretty trail following the river. Water is super clear, it's green, you get some sweet views of the mountains in the background, some nice reflections, it's very pretty. It's a pretty sweet view of the mountains around. It's uh, interesting to think that in a couple of weeks, a few weeks time, ski season starting, most of these will be covered in snow. The landscape will change so much. Well, Sundowns Canyon. Pretty cool spot. Starting off crossing a bridge. Pretty nice. And we have running water. <laughs> Going up and down. On both sides. It's nice. Didn't take very long after the bridge to find some falling water. Already had some super pretty waterfalls. Very nice. It's a pretty sick view looking out over the canyon. Sheer rock cliff faces. And then back down to waterfalls. Very nice. Pretty sweet. Pretty sick view. Looking up as well. <laughs> Can't even reach the tree line looking up. Goodness me. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Got mountains in the background. And we have the river. Standing on a bridge, and there's a sick little waterfall. Nice. <laughs> it's such a pretty thing walking by a running river, flying down a canyon. The different colors. Different sights and sounds. It's lovely. Well, pretty set of waterfalls through a pretty nice little section of canyon. The path just keeps going afterwards, so I'm just following it for a little bit, see if it goes anywhere interesting. I don't know, this could be a loop trail, or maybe it's just a Continuation to another trail. I guess I'll find out in the near future. Been walking through the trees, and it's brought me out to what is a pretty sweet view of the mountains. Well, as it turned out, it was a loop trail, which is <laughs> quite nice. A little descent down through the trees just to get back to this tarmac path. Pretty easy breezy. Let's head back to Cave and Basin. Heading towards the cave at Cave and Basin. And uh, yeah, the lighting is, well, bad for video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, should be pretty sweet. We'll have a look soon. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the uh, 
the cave spring in the cave and basin. It's uh, pretty dark in here, so the low light performance of the camera is doing kind of okay. It uh, smells a bit like Rotorua in New Zealand. <laughs> Has that sulfur egg kind of smell. Yeah, pretty cool little spot. Let's walk through these caves. You do have to mind your head. I banged mine on the way in. <laughs> yeah, that's when you can actually see. This is the basin. It's a pretty sick little place. Still smells like sulfur, but that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a pretty neat little random spot. Um, nice for a chill afternoon. It's an interesting place. It used to be a public swimming pool with you know the thermal hot springs and things like that. And uh, they discovered there's a, a type of snail that makes its residence in that kind of water. So uh, yeah, interesting. They must have shut it down because of endangerment. The, uh, the sulfur springs are fed by water coming through from Sulfur Mountain over goodness knows how many years it picks up sulfides and things which makes it smell. I'm going up the Sulphur Mountain Trail which is a very steep trail with a lot of switchbacks apparently so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> it's pretty high up <laughs> nearly at the top <laughs> the view is just Stunning. Not bad at all. <laughs> well, I made it to the top. About an hour and 20 minutes of hiking. It was sweat making, but not too difficult as paths go. I'm now at the top of where the gondola station is, and it's a pretty sweet view, so we'll take a look at that, and then I'm moving on to walk a little bit higher to an observation spot. Should be sweet. That is one heckin' beautiful view. Straight into the valley and beyond. <laughs> and I'm heading to that observation tower. Should be sweet over there. Well, I did it. About an hour and 25 minutes from the bottom up into the observatory. Not too bad as hikes go. A little bit sweat making. But yeah, the view over this side is stunning as well. Let's have a look at it. Yep. Very easy to just sit here for a long time and enjoy this super pretty view. There's quite a lot of people around because obviously you can get the gondola up. Loads of people compared to how many there were hiking. But, you know, hiking's free, so <laughs> why not, right? Oh, I'm heading down now. <laughs> Much easier going down, obviously. Just straight down. Grounds a little bit dusty, but not slippery. It should be quite quick going down. The view at the top, totally worth it. Yeah, heading down should be nice. It's been quite a fun adventure these last couple days. Just easy breezy hikes, cool places to visit. You know, the cave and basin was a nice spot. Sundance Canyon as well. And uh, yeah, Sulphur Mountain. There is a, uh, well, hello, there's a squirrel. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the adventures from the last day or two, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing because I'm going to keep producing more videos as my adventures continue. So until the next one, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day. We'll see you on the next one.